Hi everyone on booktube, it's Andrea here and I'm here today with my Friday Reads. Now obviously I haven't done one for the last few weeks because I've been taking part in non-fiction November so that's all over now so this is what I plan on reading over the weekend and partly probably into next week. So first of all I'm going to be trying to finish off the Glasgow Combsdale scale even from Neil D.A. Stewart. This book was the this month's book in the Book and a Brew subscriptions box. I'm just over halfway through it. It's okay. It's a bit odd. I want to say it's like a slice of life. There doesn't seem to be much plot. There is a plot, um, but there doesn't seem to be much to it. It's, it reminds me kind of like a Harold Pinter play where they take a slice of somebody's life, put it on the stage, and nothing much really happens. That's what I'm getting from this book at the moment. Maybe it will change. Um, We'll find out. I'm, like I said, it's not going to take me long to finish it. I'm, I'm more than halfway through. So I want to get that finished as soon as I can because once I finish that I'm moving on to the, one of the books that I'm very very excited to be reading this month in December and that is Heartless by Mar Marissa Mayer. I cannot leave this um, on my TBR. I only got it the other day. I have to read this now. So I'm going to try and read that one tonight and then get on with that because I'm dying to read it. I love Marissa Mayer's writing style so oh, I'm so excited and I just love this cover. I do, I love the black and the red. I always think black and red looks fantastic together. Um, one of the books I was reading for non-fiction November that I didn't finish is, and I've only got the cover here because the book's actually downstairs in my bag, is Roses from the Earth uh, the biography of Anne Frank by Caroline Lee. This obviously tells the story of, of Anne Frank from the time she was born up until her death in Bergen-Belsen and then uh, it talks about her legacy and what happened to her father after the war and so on and members of the family that did survive. Obviously her immediate family, her father was really the only one. Um, so it's a very sad book. I haven't read this for a long time. I really want to finish this again, reading it again. It, it's just so it's heartbreaking. Um, on the non-fiction side for that, after I've finished Anne Frank, or possibly just because it's a little book and I know it won't take me long to get through it, I hope to get started on The Little Book of Audrey Hepburn very soon from Caroline Jones. This was one of the books, books that was sent to me by Carlton Publishing. Um, I think it's adorable. I love these little books. They're so fantastic. There's fantastic photographs of Audrey all the way through it. Um, right, you know, even when she was older, she was still beautiful. You know, she did it. I mean, it says here this picture, aging gracefully, Audrey, Audrey pictured in her late 50s in 1988 at Claridge's Hotel in London. And it's, I can barely see it, it's a black and white one here. And she's still beautiful because, oh, it's gone a bit dark. Uh, she just was a beautiful person, a beautiful woman, beautiful human being. One of the other things I've been doing this week and I hope to carry on over the weekend and into next week is doing some colouring. Again, these were sent. this was sent to me by Carlton Publishing along with the butterfly colouring book. I've done some of the butterflies, but I'm thinking I want to do a fairy. Um, so I am thinking I'm going to do one of the fairies in one of the fairy pictures in here. Oh, that's quite a nice one. Maybe something like that. But I will show you that um, when I wrap up at the end of the month, whatever it is I do with uh, my colouring. As I said, I have done a few. So that is my Friday reads. I'm looking forward to seeing what you're all reading this weekend and over next week. I'm sure I'll be reading more than just those uh, four because I do read a lot. Far too much apparently. I don't think so. Can't read enough in my opinion. Um, obviously I haven't got so much reading time this weekend because I'm doing some work tomorrow overtime tomorrow at my office because well you know what overtime means means more money and more money means more books. Yay! I didn't say that. Don't tell Paul I said that okay. So anyway that's my Friday reads this week. I'll be catching up on yours. Look forward to seeing what you're reading this weekend. If you want to have a discussion about any of the books mentioned please leave me a comment down below and don't forget to give me the big thumbs up and share, comment and of course subscribe. I will see you soon. Bye!